Hey YouTube, I'm going to show you today how to fix your clutch on the ADCC bike kit. First thing you want to do is you want to take your locking bolt out of here. First thing really you want to take off the cover. If you can't, if you're having a hard time almost stripping the bolts, you want to put the screwdriver on the bolt or on the, the screw and then you take a hammer and hit the back of this. Don't be afraid to break it because it's not going to. If it does, don't blame me. <laughs> okay. Stay over here so I can do it easily. And the reason why you hit it with a hammer is it loosens up the, the threads. And then you push on it while trying to unscrew it. That usually helps. But you'll want to take your locking bolt out. And then there's this, this special wash that most of you can't figure out how to take off. You just take needle nose. You know those work really well. Just push it on there, you push push it on while you unscrew. Like that. I accidentally dropped that button. And then you push, you press this plate in, and then you can just unscrew it like a, a screw. You have to kind of press hard. See, and then that locking washer comes off. Therefore, letting this out. But yeah, I'm going to show you how to fix your slipping clutch. That's what this video is on. Okay, I have plenty of rags nearby. Uh, this spring is sometimes the problem. Sometimes these are a little sprung and they, they kind of look like this. If they are, all you do is you pull on them like this. You stretch them back out. And then they work just fine again. Uh, you wanna, here's that, that plate. I'm going to check this side of the plate. You want to check along here, make sure it's clean. If it's not clean, get brake cleaner, not carburetor cleaner. Uh, get brake cleaner and spray it off and clean it off. This one's pretty clean, I'm just wiping off with the rag here. You want to get most of this grease gone. All the grease that you need is in on these outer gears. You don't want it in here, which is my problem. So I'm going to grab my brake cleaner. Spray right around in there. Now you take your rag and you wipe everything off. This is the part one of degreasing. As you can see, one of those fell out. Let me focus in here. There we go, now you can see better. Now you're going to want to pull out all these pads out. One by one. Doesn't matter the configuration that they're in. Just pull them all out. Now the brake cleaner sometimes makes them a little soft. So when you spray them down and you clean them, you want to sit them somewhere kind of hot. Maybe in front of a, a box heater or something like that. You just want to heat them up a little bit so you can harden them up a little bit again. I'm going to pull all these out. I've got, I had a problem with a leaky carburetor and it leaked a bunch of gas in, which leaked into here. That's my problem. Hear my dog coming around the corner. So we're going to want to take a rag, wipe this all out. Just like that. Kind of get as much of that out as you can. Spray it out with your brake cleaner. I'm running really low on. I just want to get all this clean. The cleaner you get it, the better your clutch will work. Now you don't want to remove the, the grease from these gears because grease for those gears are important, but grease on the clutch is not a good thing. I'm running really low on brake cleaner. I have to run to the store. Maybe even in this video, I'll have to run to the store and get some more brake cleaner. If you have a if you have an air compressor, that helps a lot. You just blow this out after you get it all clean. 
Okay, let's blow out the rest of the stuff. I'm gonna tilt it this way to drip out as much junk as possible. My neighbors are staring at me like, who is he talking to? <laughs> Near in the background. There we go, that's pretty clean now. Now, the next thing I wanna do, take the camera down here. Here's all your brake pads. Here are your clutch pads. If they're thick like that, they're good still. Um, I found if you turn them around, um, that actually helps a lot. I'm gonna spray them all off here. Oh gosh, I'm really running low. I'm gonna have to reassemble this bike and go get some more uh, brake cleaner. Uh, I think that's what I'm gonna do. Let's go get some more brake cleaner. I'm gonna dry them all off here in my rag. Go for a little bit of a ride. And get some more brake cleaner. I just hope my store carries brake cleaner. My closest store to me. So, let me get back in a little bit, YouTube. I'm gonna reassemble it. Go for a little bit of a ride, get brake cleaner, and come back and finish the job. Okay, YouTube, time to finish this video. Totally forgot about this video. Sorry for <laughs> all it, those of you who have been waiting, but I'm going to finish it now. Uh, ran down to Walmart, picked up some Super Tech, more brake part cleaner. Um, one warning about this stuff, though. That was brake parts cleaner. Um, on most paint, like paint like this, it'll usually peel the paint right off. Like, it's really weird looking. Like, it'll go, it'll be like this, just like regular paint, and then it'll go whoa, like that and like just shrink up on itself. It's so weird looking. But yeah, it'll pretty much kill your paint. Let me get it right real quick. Okay, I'm back. Uh, apologize for the lighting. The lighting's not good. Apologize for the audio because I know the audio is not good. So, anyways, um, like I said, you wanna spray out behind here. Pretty much just try to get as uh, much grease out of there as you can. Spray out your. Uh, disc like that. It goes that way. That's what I just did off the camera. I'm gonna tilt my bike here a little bit to try to get some of that brake cleaner out of there. As you can see, it's now very clean in there. Can you see that? There you go. There you can see it. Pretty dang clean in there now. Put that back right there. Dang it! <laughs> Can I go right to your tape? Anyways, um, <coughs> got that cleaned off. Uh, you want once again, you want to clean your your clutch plates. I wouldn't soak them in this solution, but spraying them off is okay. I'm just gonna take them out of that now. Um. I had to wait until these dry. I wait until the clutch plates dry before you put them back in. Uh, reason being is when they get wet, they get a little soggy, um, which if you don't let them dry, they'll probably they may tear apart. You know, not the greatest material, but yeah, they really work. But uh, I don't know if I said this already, but sometimes these springs get sprung. Instead of being this tall, they're usually, sometimes they're like that. You just want to stretch them. I can't remember if I said that or not, because this video I'm continuing. And uh, you reassemble it. So I, I hope you enjoyed the video, everybody. Um, sorry to those who have been waiting for it. But I'll see you later. Talk to you later, YouTube. Bye.